everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Atari ST A to Z, a series of short playthroughs of Atari ST games, some which I grew up with and some which are new to me. Today we're looking at Clue, or Cluedo, Master Detective. This was the 1989 release from Virgin Games, developed by Delali Software as an adaptation of the Waddington's board game. This was part of a range of games from Virgin for IBM PC, Apple II, Mac, Commodore 64, Amiga and Atari ST that adapted classic board games for home computers. Other games in the series included Risk, Monopoly and Scrabble. As the name suggests, Clue or Cluedo Master Detective is an expanded, more challenging version of the original Cluedo game. It offers more rooms, more weapons and a larger pool of suspects, as well as a few tweaks to the basic rules. Up to 10 people can play, including on this Atari ST version, but uh, it'll just be me and the computer today. So, let's go play Clue Master Detective. Okay, here we are with Clue Master Detective, or Cluedo, as it was known in the UK. Uh, so this is an American copy of the game. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's exactly the same um, in terms of content and everything. It's just got the, the slightly different name that the board game has got over there. Now, this is based on the Master Detective variant of Clue, or Cluedo. I'm going to refer to it as Cluedo from now on, just for simplicity's sake. Um, which has some additional characters. It's got some extra rules. Um, but it's mostly the Cluedo that you probably grew up with. So first thing we need to do uh, is we need to pick players for the game. Uh, so I will be Miss Scarlet and we can click down here and you can give a little nickname to each player as well. So if you can't remember who's who, if you play multiplayer, um, you can put that little tag on them and it will say it's it's Pete's turn or whatever let's add some additional players let's drop in uh, a, a few computer players let's maybe have four players all together we'll have Miss Peach we'll have Professor Plum because he's a classic and Colonel Mustard and I'll leave them I, I think that the number is there level of difficulty so i'm going to leave them all on one for now because not 100 percent sure how this works as a computer game because if you've played cluedo before you'll know it's quite a social game in a lot of ways there's a lot of sort of talking to each other but the mechanics uh, could feasibly work with an ai so i'm going to be i'm quite interested to see how this unfolds let's have a look what we've got in the menus up at the top uh except we're not allowed to do that in a minute we have to start the game first okay so three computer players and me and neutral just means that their their cards are in the deck which means that they could have been the um the perpetrator of the murder but they're just not actively participating in the game all right so let's start miss peach will start the game so miss peach rolls the dice gets a five and goes one two three four five into the courtyard there she goes tweet 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 miss peach suggests madame brunette or monsieur brunette in the courtyard with the poison colonel mustard professor plum and me showed a card Right, so we know it's none of those things that she just asked. So, up here at the top, um, you've got this show notes and show cards section. So if we look at show notes, um, we can see the stuff that we've learned already. So um, this is, the same sort of thing you'd have as your like detective's notebook in the um in the original board game so if we have a look at our cards now it puts them face down so if you're playing with other human players um they don't get to cheat but you just hold the mouse button down over one to see what you've got so it was um the courtyard which we've got and we don't have any of the others but she did get all three so that means that we know it definitely wasn't 
the courtyard because we've got that so there's a c in that box to show that we've we've got the card for that uh we know it wasn't the poison because someone showed that to her so we click on that until we get an x because we know that that definitely isn't the case and we know that it isn't monsieur brunette because logically speaking that must have been the other card that someone showed to her so that was quite a helpful round for us it specifically says in the rules for cluedo master detective that there's um there's sort of a, a way around preventing that happening I, f I forget exactly what it is but yeah I, kn I know it's it can get quite awkward if you inadvertently suggest something that gives things away to everyone else on the board <laughs> right so i rolled a nine uh so you then have to plot out your route uh going through one of the doors in the room so let's go one two three four five six and this is a snoop space so i believe you get to do something now. i think you get to look at someone's card or something like that but i think you've got to finish your move first and then one two three is that it okay select player to snoop let's have a snoop at miss beach select a card to snoop let's have a look at this one all right so she's got mademoiselle rose so we know that's not her so we can go to our notes oh that's that's actually eliminated that for us so it does do a certain amount of the bookkeeping for you which is nice i don't think you can look at another one no you can't you can just look at that one as many times as you want okay good stuff then our move will continue And we're not in a room so we can't make a suggestion so next up is colonel mustard who is heading over there into the billiard room colonel mustard suggests mademoiselle rose in the billiard room with the wrench right so again we all passed a card um so we can eliminate all of those Mademoiselle Rose in the billiard room with the wrench. And we can't tick those off until it's our turn. This is where a piece of paper would come in handy this game does actually have the facility to print out the investigator sheets uh hold on i do have a bit of paper lying around here so i'm actually going to make a quick note of that so uh we know it's not my pen doesn't work yes it does so billiard room excuse the camera shaking while i'm writing on the table uh, billiard room and we know it's not mademoiselle rose we know it's not the wrench and we know it's not the revolver and miss peach is suggesting professor plum in the dining room with the rope colonel mustard passed a card uh, so plum dining room rope one of those three interesting right let's update our notes before we do anything so uh we can eliminate the billy dream altogether because i've got that one we can eliminate mademoiselle rose because I've already seen that one and we can eliminate both the wrench and the revolver and we can also put a question mark by 
Professor Plum. The dining room. And the rope. Because one of those three things was passed. We don't know who from. Um, I think it was Colonel Mustard, wasn't it? So if we get a chance to snoop on Colonel Mustard, that would probably be a good idea. So we're on a five. Um, okay. Where can I go from here? Can't actually get into any rooms other than the trophy room, I don't think, can we? Okay, so let's make a suggestion. So, uh, I'm gonna go for Professor Plum and the rope and see if we fight to see either of those. Oh, we've seen two of them. So, Professor Plum and the trophy room. Very interesting. All right, so Professor Plum has gone now, gone to a cross automatically. Uh, trophy room has gone to a cross automatically because we've shown it as well, but the rope is still an unknown. Although no one showed us the rope, so that means that the rope is a distinct possibility. So I'm going to change that to a Y to say that we think it might be the rope. Uh, and dining room is still an unknown at this point. Actually, I'm going to leave that on question mark for now. So I don't definitely know it's the rope. I don't think. Right, next player. Colonel Mustard got a five, heading for the studio. Crick, crick. Colonel Mustard suggests Miss Scarlet in the studio with the revolver. So we know it's not going to be the revolver. And all three of us passed a card. So studio revolver and scarlet are all out professor plum suggests himself in the trophy room with the candlestick colonel mustard and miss peach passed a card Uh, candlestick. Professor Plum said, "That's lucky." All right, Miss Peach heading to the drawing room. Miss Peach suggests Mrs. White in the drawing room with the rope. Colonel Mustard passed a card. Uh, so, white drawing room. Rope. One of those three. Alright, let's update our notes first. So, we know that it's definitely not Miss Scarlet, which is good because that's me. I always hated being the murderer in Cluedo. We know it's not the studio, because I've got that. And we already know it's not the revolver. Candlestick? Not sure about. This is white. I'm going to put a question mark by. Drawing room. I'm going to put a question mark by. And rope. We're relatively sure about the rope. I'm going to mark that with that Y. I will do that this time, just to distinguish it from the ones that we're not 100% sure about. Uh, right, so I can either make a suggestion right away, or I can move. What have I got? An 8. I can go for a snoop. So let's go, what? Oh, can I not? Is that not a door? Uh, 
Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Who do we need to find out stuff about? We want to know about Mrs. White and the rope, don't we? I will snoop you, Professor Plum. Right, so he's got the conservatory. Which is where I am, so that's not super helpful, unfortunately. Right, Mrs. White and the rope in the conservatory. Right, okay, so the rope is out. Mrs. White has become a mystery though so the rope is out mrs white we don't know and the conservatory is out the game is afoot watson next player coming to the conservatory are we hmm What do you want? Sergeant Gray in the conservatory, which we know it isn't, with the candlestick. Ooh. Very helpful. Thank you very much, Colonel Mustard. Why are you all coming in here? It's clearly not here. <laughs> I'm playing this on the assumption that you all know how to play Cluedo, by the way. Um, if you're not familiar, which I'm sure someone out there isn't familiar, um, there's been a murder and we have to deduce um, who the murderer was, where the murder took place and what the weapon was. And you do that by trying to figure out what cards everyone else has got. And the cards that people don't have are the ones that represent the murder. So that's what we that's what we're doing, if you were confused by what was happening in this. Professor Plum suggests Mrs. Peacock in the conservatory with the rope. Right, we know it's not the conservatory. We know it's not the rope. Uh Right, so Mrs. Peacock just became a suspect. Miss Peach suggests Mrs. Peacock in the conservatory with the wrench, so this should be two cards again as well. Yep. Right, give me my notes. Oh, I've got Mrs. Peacock. Oh, interesting. I can use that knowledge to my advantage because presumably I've only showed them one of my cards tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to turn off auto reply because i think that allows you to pick which card you're going to show to people and ideally we don't want them knowing that we've got mrs peacock if if they don't already anyway uh where am i here uh so where haven't we been yet carriage house library and fountain those are all miles away all right well we're gonna have to oh the carriage house isn't too far away let's head in that direction one oops holding my pen with my mouse hand so it's not helping the accuracy one two three four 
No? Why can't I do that? Okay, I guess I'll go that way. <laughs> Alright, who do we want some information about? Don't know anything about Colonel Mustard, Mr. Green, or Miss Peach. Let's see if we can get some information on Mrs. White as well. So, Mrs. White. And what weapons are we not sure about? Candlesticks come up a few times. Hmm, interesting. So, Candlestick and Mrs. White are both suspicious all right bring it on Colonel Masters suggests Mr. Green in the drawing room with the horseshoe uh, okay so green Drawing room horseshoe. Professor Plum passed the card, so it's one of those three. Professor Plum suggests Mademoiselle Rose in the drawing room with the candlestick. Miss Peach passed a card. That suggests to me that Miss Peach. No, Miss Peach had the had Mademoiselle Rose, didn't she? Okay, so the candlestick is still in the offing. Miss Peach suggests Mrs. White in the drawing room with the wrench. Professor Plum passed a card. Interesting. No, it's not the wrench. It might be the horseshoe. might be the candlestick okay we need to figure some shit out two I got a two that is the worst um, well I, I guess I'll go this way and do nothing Okay, out to the courtyard. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Colonel Mustard suggests Missy Brunette in the courtyard with the horseshoe. Professor Plum and Miss Scarlet pass the card. Uh, Brunette. I think it's cool, yeah, because we've got that. And what um, weapon did they use? I've forgotten already. It was a horseshoe, wasn't it? Horseshoe. Oh, auto replies turned itself back on again. Do I turn that off? Apparently not. Dead set on it being the conservatory, aren't they? Miss Scarlet in the conservatory with the horseshoe. I was just about to get into the garage. Hate you so much. Uh, a 
need to get the carriage house, the library, or the fountain. Those secret passages go between those two places, don't they? I think. So if I go here, and then on to the secret passage. No. Nope. How do you use the secret passage? Do we click on the secret passage? Yeah, yes, okay, so that uses one move. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, that will do. You can turn off these animations, by the way. I might do that in the moment. Uh, not going to say anything in there. I am going to snoop Professor Plum, though. And discover Miss Peach. Excellent. Helpful information. Right, we are really narrowing things down now. Interesting. Someone else got to the fountain first. If you could pull me over there, that'll be very helpful. <laughs> Just looks like he fell in the water. Colonel Mustard suggests Miss Peach in the fountain with the horseshoe. Professor Plum and Miss Peach pass the card. Okay. So, Peach. Fountain. Horseshoe. Two of them are in circulation. Professor Plum accuses Mrs. White in the drawing room with the horseshoe. Oh, okay. I guess I lost. <laughs> oh that's unfortunate uh, I was quite enjoying the deduction process there but I guess I should have uh, deduced a few more things yeah that's not bad actually it's not a bad adaptation I mean, I mean it's obviously very strictly adapting the board game uh, without really adding too many bells or whistles in there but as a means of playing Cluedo by yourself uh, or indeed with a bunch of people around the computer instead of around a board game table not bad at all I do like the fact that this had some print options as well so not only could you print the state of the game as it's prompting us to do here uh, you could also print out uh, the notes sheet as well um, so that rather than having to scroll notes on a piece of paper like I've been doing throughout the course of, of this game um, you can actually print yourself a proper uh, detective's notebook thing to actually tick things off on as you go through, uh, which would probably be a good idea to get the most out of this game, particularly if you're playing it with several people. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, as I say, some people don't like Master, Edi Master Edition of Cluedo quite so much because of the changes to the way that the suggestion system works. Um, I forget the exact details of it but it's it's something to do with the fact that it's it's much more likely that you get all three people who have the cards that you suggested showing you at the same time and that obviously gives information to everyone around the table uh, which is something you want to avoid doing at all costs now there are some little variations on the rules you can do on house rules or strategies you can use such as suggesting your own cards to make sure that doesn't happen um but uh, having not played Master Edition before, I grew up with sort of classic 1960s Cluedo. Um, belongs to my parents, not to me. I'm not that old. Um, yeah, I, I grew up with that. So I sort of grew up with the with the traditional rules for this rather than the, the Master Detective variant that we've got here. But yeah, that's, that's pretty solid. As I say, relatively unremarkable in terms of bells and whistles and alternative ways to play but it is nice to be able to play it one with up to 10 players which is cool um, and two against the computer as well so if you like cluedo but it's difficult to get people together to play it 
together, which is often the case, um, then yeah, you can enjoy it with your Atari ST, which is nice, isn't it? Anyway, let's leave that there for today. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.